Hi, I'm Taylor. And I'm Nika. And we're the Natural Girls. And so I've been in Southern California for a little while, and I wanted to bring back something that had that kind of spicy Mexican flavor. Yum. So last week I tried out this new salad recipe and I loved it. Mm -hmm. I was telling you about it. Yep, I and love Mexican food. And so I figured uh, we'd try and make it today. Which I'm excited about, so let's let's see what it's about. Yes, let's I'm gonna start that a bit again. <laughs> <laughs> so show me what's the ingredients. Awesome. So to start is I made up the salad dressing, mm -hmm. or most of it at least. So all I've put in here so far is one to two tablespoons of honey, and that's totally dependent on how sweet you want it because it counteracts your spiciness, which comes from a hot sauce of your choice. Ooh, I like hot sauce. I yeah. chose Cholula. And uh, a really nice hot salad. Yeah, so you can use Tabasco or things mm. like that, but I just really like the flavors. Or just some chilies. Yeah, and grind sure. up some chilies and just add in some oil. Mm, for yeah. sure. And then, yeah, I just put a little bit of oil in there, maybe one to two tablespoons, because it's going to go in this whole big salad. Yeah. Uh, about two to three cloves of garlic just smashed in there. Mm, a yum. little sprinkle of cumin. Yum. <laughs> and then last I haven't tried this salad yet, so I'm like, <laughs> like hanging out to try it. Yeah. And then the last thing I'm going to add in there is just uh, some fresh coriander, or I refer to it as cilantro for those of you in California. I'm learning new words. Cilantro. <laughs> and add that in. I love coriander. Yeah. I love all these ingredients. Mm -hmm. it's so, such good flavors. Mm, so good. And lime's the best. Mm -hmm. And uh, the coriander or cilantro in there is a really nice heavy metal detoxifier. Mm -hmm. uh, very, you know, good source of chlorophyll because yeah. it's green. So blood cleanser, mm -hmm. absolutely helping to oxygenate the blood as well. And so now that our dressing is all ready to go. It's looking good. Fun. And smelling amazing. <laughs> oh, yum. I promise my hands are clean. And lime's really good for the digestion as well. It helps to stimulate those gastric juices. Mm -hmm. It's really good, especially if you're going to be eating a lot of vegetables um, or salads. And yeah, kale. and it, I also find that the oil and the lime help to kind of break down some of the toughness of the kale, because kale is a very rough It is. Seed. Yeah, it's quite tough. So you'll notice that as I'm massaging, it actually decreases a lot in volume, which is why I put in this bowl if you're thinking, no, this is too small. <laughs> <laughs> like, basically, like rabbits, we're just going to eat a whole bunch of oh, yeah. kale. It's like good. A lot of rabbit food. All right, so I'm just going to drizzle all that on. And then I promise my hair hands are clean and washed. And I'm just going to massage it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to let Taylor do that. He's going to let her get in there. Um, look, salads are a really good um, sort of alternative to eating sort of junk food um, for lunch. And also like sausage rolls and sandwiches, Ooh. stock salmon sort of lunches that you might have. Um, if you can hear that dog in the background, that's my crazy little beagle, Oliver. Wow. That's a good workout there. Oh, yeah, it's a kale good. workout. Yeah, it's, I didn't go to the gym today because I knew I was making kale salad. <laughs> okay, so that's if good. you excuse me for a moment, I'm going to go wash my hands. I'm back. <laughs> With clean hands. Clean, and more clean hands. Alright, so those are the main ingredients, but now we're going to add in the rest of the salad. Okay, so I thought I'd put in some Spanish red onion. Um, this is contains a lot of sulfur, which is really good for helping the liver to detoxify any sort of um, chemicals within the body. So there we go. Um, I'm gonna add in some <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna add in some black beans, a uh, good source of protein, good source of fiber, thank you. And uh, really delicious and uh, iron. Good source of iron as well. Yeah, good source of iron. Yeah, absolutely. And we've got some corn. Thank you, my dear. <laughs> so corn has a good source of beta carotene, which converts to vitamin A in the body, helps to support the immune system. It also brings a nice color to the salad. Bright <laughs> yellow. And lastly, I also pre-cooked some quinoa. That was one other thing that I did before shooting this. And I just did one cup of dry quinoa to about two cups, maybe two and a fourth cups of water to get it nice and fluffy. I almost burned it, but thanks to Anika, I did it. <laughs> so I'm adding that in, and that it's is a non-burnt quinoa. Non-burnt quinoa. <laughs> And that again is another good source of protein. Uh, it's also another good source of fiber. It's great for the cardiovascular system. Uh, it's really good to balance your cholesterol levels. I'm trying to be really like dainty about it. Dainty. Dainty. <laughs> <laughs> it's like sugar and flying around. Yeah. Yeah. Quinoa and kale like going all over the walls. And that's pretty much it. The longer it marinates, the more flavor it gets mm. into the kale as well. So when I eat it tomorrow and the next day, <laughs> it'll be even more flavorful. I say let's have some. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Let's have some. And this is basically what it looks like. Ta da! <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's it from us today. I hope you try out the salad and enjoy it. Or uh, if you use a different hot sauce or a different marinade, let me know in the comments down below so I can try it out. I think this would go really good with tuna. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go eat this. Sounds good. Yeah. I hope you have a happy, healthy day. Hey, guys. <laughs>